All the while, we were trying to connect with her, doing whatever we could to, to have her feel a part of the family, a part of us. And um, she just felt like it was become, she was becoming more and more distant. And we were just becoming more and more frantic. This was a daughter who'd been ideal, but there were times she would scream at me at the top of her lungs and say, you're Satan, you're Satan. Um, and it was, it was frustrating. Didn't know what to do. One of the things that hurt the worst was, you know, I we had good relationships with her before this. And it's like, where did she go? Who is this person that is inhabiting her body? It was like she was just so different and so closed. And when did we become the enemy? And at this time, I remember I would wake up in the middle of the night wondering, will she be alive? The sooner one deals directly with it, the better. But dealing with it does not mean taking blame for it. Although it's very easy for parents to question themselves when a child develops anorexia and to wonder what they did wrong, realize that you did not cause the eating disorder. This is a brain disorder. Families don't cause eating disorders. In, in my opinion, don't put a lot of energy into feeling guilty and trying to figure out what we, did we do wrong. I think you're better served by putting the energy into how do we best understand this, right? And how do we best move forward to help our daughter? The old school of thought that parents and family dynamics caused anorexia has been reversed to understanding that you, the parents, are usually your child's best resource in combating anorexia. In fact, the most successful therapy is based on parents helping their child. It's called family-based treatment, or F. BT for short. A joint study from the University of Chicago and Stanford in 2010 concluded that FBT is more than twice as effective in producing recovery from anorexia as individual therapy, with a quarter of the incidence of relapse. Daniel LaGrange from the University of Chicago explained, what this study unequivocally demonstrates is if you have an adolescent with anorexia nervosa, who is medically stable, family-based treatment should be the first line of treatment.